Speaker cables are the place where resistance plays the biggest role in any loudspeaker system. That's a signal path element where you can no longer hope that a balanced audio connection will do its thing and help you out with the noise. There is usually no shielding or error correction, as it's a fully passive stage. So you just have to hope that the signal stays high quality through the entire road from your power amplifier to your speakers. Recently, I reviewed BSSC 3300 series cables from Melodica. But hey, it's a great time for an upgrade. The BSSC 4500 is a higher tier model with a thicker diameter, more copper in it, lower resistance, and around 50% higher price tag. Let's see how it performs in comparison and whether higher gauge speaker cables are better or not. They come in various lengths, but as always, in most cases, you should get the shortest one that's just long enough to reach your speakers and some extra. In my case, that's 2.5 meters. Well, actually, that's a bit too long and I would optimally aim for 2 meters, but that's what we are working with today. It's simply important not to go crazy and have many meters of unnecessary cable being looped somewhere for no good reason. It introduces unwanted resistance and other effects that are detrimental to good sound quality. Of course, it's no huge deal, but if you're trying to optimize your audio setup, it's better to do it the proper way. They are also available in two connector variants, either bananas or spades. I have the version with banana plugs, which is the connection type I tend to prefer. The cables from Melodica I previously reviewed were just over 3mm thick in diameter. These, however, are 4.5mm. That might not sound like a big difference, but even from a listening distance you can notice it easily. That makes for a premium feel and adds some weight, which emphasizes this effect. It uses 6 and purity OFC copper as a conductor. It features their spiral lids technology, which means that every single wire of this cable is individually insulated, so it doesn't make contact with other wires and they are all twisted, which results in greatly reduced skin effect and self-interference. The cable features triple dielectric insulation with LDPE, which makes it suitable for in-wall runs and safe for situations where the cable is in contact with any conductive material, which can easily happen in hi-fi systems. Additionally, the cable is terminated with solid grip technology, which involves tightly pressing the conductors, eliminating free spaces between them, which makes for a more efficient current transfer and lower losses in the places where there normally would be some air gaps and, as we all know, air is an insulator, not a conductor. Regarding conductors, lots of different diameters are used here. From thick base core, that's 0.85mm square and is made for lower frequencies, to lots of much thinner internal wires that are great for the highs. This cable is a combination of elements that result in being great for every single frequency range. What's nice to see here is a 10-year warranty. While you're unlikely to ever need that, it inspires confidence in the product, as the company is committed to replacing it within 10 years from a purchase in case anything goes wrong. Let's get to the sound quality then. Are thicker cables any better than identical, thinner ones? It depends on a few factors. First of them is your system's resolving capability. If it's a pair of tiny speakers that aren't even positioned well, a cheap DAC, a mediocre amplifier without good filtering, no speaker cable is going to make your system sound good. There are lots of people who do not understand this very thing and are calling cables snake oil because of this fact. But if your system's got some serious resolving power and is dialed in just right, then thicker speaker cables can step up your sound game. In my experience, these bad boys provided punchier mid-bass than my old cables. That's a very clear upgrade. Dynamic range is one of the main things that makes a system impressive. When your friends come in, you want them to be wowed by your system, to feel the impact of the music and discover details they have likely missed before. Another thing that happened was seemingly more space between instruments and vocals. They didn't get disconnected at all, simply less blended in with each other, which made it a bit easier to listen to. The sound also got a bit more neutral, ever so slightly warmer and a bit more lifelike. That is something I am mainly chasing in my system. Realism. Upgrading speaker cables brought me just that one step closer to achieving that. 